Welcome to Happy Cooking with Yvonne Douglas. I'm Doug. And I'm Yvonne. And today we're cooking up something special. Together we're going to create a beautiful Christmas garland and we're going to place it on top of our fireplace mantle. So stay tuned. So you ready to get started on our Christmas garland? Yeah, I think so. But you know what? I think, I think it would feel better if we were in our Christmas onesies. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Oh, Blue, can I do it? Can you do it? Yeah, can I? All right. All right, get ready. Okay, so we're back and we're gonna talk about uh, what you're gonna need for your Christmas garland. Now you can go out and purchase a garland, but they're really, really, really expensive, especially when you know they're all ornate and stuff. So you could actually buy inexpensive garland and different picks and ribbons and stuff and create it your own. So Bo, before we get started, uh -huh. can you talk about where you got these? A Christmas onesies? Yes. Guess where? Amazon! Amazon. <laughs> Is yeah. there something they don't have? No, they have everything on Amazon. Yeah, and so these are really comfy, it's right? Actually, it's actually very comfy, yeah. and cuddly, like, you know. Something about one seeds for me is that I don't want them super heavy. Yeah. Because like, I'm exactly. naturally hot. Yes. I'm constantly sweating. Yes. So this actually... And these I are very light, this. and but they're they're comfy. Like, they're, they're not... You don't feel hot in them, but you, you, you're still comfortable, you know what I mean? And the other thing is that usually, like, you know, if you get something, like... I, it tends to be like not your size, mm -hmm. but this one, you got me a medium and it fits really good. Yeah, and I won't say my size. Anyway. <laughs> good job. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna talk about what you need. So basically, I got this on Amazon too. And this is really inexpensive garland. It's the garland? Yes, and is I it got lit? I got two, and it's lit, yes. That's what's so great, for $15 each. I mean, oh, that, well, that's not bad. that is cheap, and it's, you know, has lights on it, and so it's, it's the thin one, it's not the real thick one. But what I did, I got two, and so we're gonna put it together, kind of twist it together to make it fuller. Okay. And then I also got this, which is, um, this one was only, nine dollars and it has berries on it and some pine cones i got that on amazon too so we're going to incorporate this into the garland and then i got a berry one this is just all full with berries and then this is um this was around 15 dollars too but there's what do we have four garlands here <laughs> four garlands here that we're going to mix together and then we're also going to add boo we're going to add so four four items that go into the garland. Yes. Well, there's four <clears throat> garlands, and we're gonna make make it as one. Oh. And then um, I have some floral wire. Wire. We're gonna need some floral wire, of course, green, and some wire cutters. And then I have a easy bodabra to make bows. You don't have to buy a bodabra, but it just makes it a little bit easier to make that professional looking what bow. What is it called? It's called the Easy Bow Maker, and you just put your um, ribbon on here, and then you have to twist your bows. I'll show you how to make it in just a second. And then we also have some picks. Now, since our theme is the magic of Christmas, but yet we have sort of like an overlaying Mexican theme on top of that, um, I got some picks that have poinsettias on it because poinsettias actually originated in Mexico, the Christmas flower, and so. I thought that would be really cool to add to our garland. So I got some really pretty picks. As I call them, the quinceañeras. <laughs> you know, I mean, for you, I think it's, it's easy to kind of like, you get to, you get your theme and mm -hmm. the type of theme that you want to have. Mm -hmm. But like, for me, that I have no clue about colors and stuff like that. Like, what would you suggest to somebody? Like, okay, what do I get? As far as colors? Yeah. All right, so that that's a super important question. Now, I've always, the way I've always done my Christmas and always done my Christmas trees and decorations is based, the colors were based on the living room. What colors were in the living room? Now, since we have a lot of neutrals in our living room, we can go with a different array of different colors. Usually in the past, I stuck to a lot of golds, um, silver, silver, white, and because that all like blended in really well with our living room. But this year, I'm, I decided just because I'm going to use all Mark Roberts, and I counted. You'll never, you don't want to know how many Mark Roberts. I actually and don't. Fairies and Santas they're, I have, but they're, <laughs> they're beautiful, and I can't judge them anymore because I used to say like I can't believe you spent that much money. So was it last year when we went to meet him? Yes, we met and, Mark Roberts in person. And so when we walked in there, and I see these two beautiful 
Santa Claus fairies, and yeah. um, we'll take some pictures so you guys can see them, but I just couldn't help myself. And like, he knew right away mm -hmm. that I wanted, so we got one, mm -hmm. and then for Christmas, he got me the other one. Yeah. Which, they're pricey, but they're beautiful. Yeah, they're beautiful, and so I'm gonna have a lot, actually, I'm putting all of them, all of them, all the Christmas ones, on our Christmas tree this year, or on the mantle, yeah. on the, around the fireplace. So I think it's gonna look really cool. I'm even gonna put them in the kitchen, some in the kitchen too. Nice. But anyway, going back to the colors, so we I have, Mark Roberts uses a lot of different colors in his elves, fairies, and Santas in, in the clothing and in the fabrics. And so that's why it's gonna be very multicolored. And that's another reason why with Mexican theme, because a lot of, I think, um, Mexican mm -hmm. art and, um, uh, a lot of the um, folk art, it's very colorful. It's, it's like bright, bright greens, a lot of, bright blues. Yeah, but a mix reds, of colors. Yeah. It's a mix of colors, and that's but how what can I, you do that in the in you're gonna without see. without making it seem like you know Christmas just exploded in blue. <laughs> no, I'll show you how to put it all together. I'm telling you, it's gonna look really, really good. I'm excited. And uh, yeah, I hope you're excited because it's fun. <laughs> all right, so when we come back, we're gonna get started on our garland, so stay tuned. Okay, so we're back and we have our garland here. So what we already did with the inexpensive garland, the thin garland, we had two, they were 12 feet each. So what we did, we kind of twisted them together and we made them as one. And my, our mantle is seven feet long about. So um, that's what our green garland is. And we want it slightly sl uh, sloping. Sloping. Sloping down a little bit. No, I was gonna say slooping. <laughs> All right, must be the drink. Anyway, um, so now we're going to attach this very garland onto that garland. And so I have some floral wire here. And you probably want to get about <clears throat> six, seven inches. What do you think? Uh, seven. That's, that's about up. That's about ten. That's, that's not ten inches. Yeah. This, no. Here, here, here. here. No, yeah, I got here. You're right here. Wait, this is one. See, this is eight. Eight. See, zero to eight. Yeah. Okay. So okay, I said seven. I was closer. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know my inches, boo. I'm not a size queen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to add. Don't the, discriminate. <laughs> so we're going to add the wire. We're going to add the berries to the um, the garland, the green garland. All right, so we're just going to tie that together. Yeah. So I'm kind of like mixing the berries into the green garland here. And like, what is the one-stop shop where you can get like, let's say people don't have, you know, experience buying from Amazon. Um, where else can you, what is your local store? Well, you can definitely you get it at Michael's. You can get garland at Michael's. You get it at Hobby Lobby. Um, Hobby Lobby has a lot of uh, sales. So right now I think it's 40, 50% off right now. So, but the only thing is this inexpensive garland that's lit, I felt was a pretty good price on Amazon compared to what I, I've seen in the store because it can get a little pricey. But, um, Especially when you buy those really, really pretty, uh, already decorated garlands. Like I saw some for one hundred thirty, one hundred fifty dollars. Wow! Yeah, I've seen like really expensive. Yeah. Uh, so stuff at the store. So you, and it's fun to kind of like make your own and make it your own, like Paula Abdul says. And I think this is like a good, <laughs> like a good thing to do with your kids or like, I mean, couples. I enjoy doing this with you. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah. Okay, I got mine done. You have yours one. Oh, I didn't know that there was a rush. <laughs> it was a contest, boo. You didn't know. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm joking. Well, you win. I'm joking. I'll let you win. <laughs> oh, he'll let me win. I'll let you win. Did, you, did, did everybody hear that out there? Keyword, I'll let you win. Ooh, I'm scared of you. Okay. But, like, there's always sales, like, after Don't the holidays. To me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you can buy stuff ahead of time. Right. So it's not that expensive. Right. Like, you, you know, you have a lot of stuff ready that usually you've been purchasing through the years. Mm -hmm. See? So we're making it one. All right, so we're gonna cut more wire because now we're gonna be adding this one. This one has the holly leaves and, and the pine cones and stuff. That's pretty. This was only $9, imagine. That was on Amazon too. Yeah. So imagine this one that was playing was more expensive, but it's very full, that's probably why. Yeah. All right. Okay, I think that's good. Good. All right, let's get 
use this. You take that end. Take this end. Let me cut some wire. There's one. You know what I'm thinking of every time you say wire? What? Mummy dearest. Wire hangers. Wire hangers! <laughs> well, this is just floral wire. She probably would have approved of the floral wire. <laughs> you think she would? Because it would make beautiful things. That lady had a had a stigma with wires. <laughs> a fascination. Fascination. There you go. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I think it stemmed from her childhood when she, she lived. She was from Joan Crawford. She was from Texas, right? She was. She was from San Antonio. Wow. And um, they were very poor growing up, and I think her, they lived in um, in the back of a laundry mat. Oh, they did? Yeah, and that's why the, the wire hangers stuff, maybe, <laughs> I don't know, maybe she had nightmares of wire hangers. That makes a lot of sense. As okay, a kid, she, it didn't they like They had her probably hanging clothes or... Who knows, yeah. Poor lady. Well, as a kid, uh, like a young teenager, I think she went to some school, uh -huh. but for her to go to that school, she had to do a lot of the cleaning and scrubbing the floors. It was sort of like, I guess, to pay for her tuition or whatever. I don't was know. it like a, a good school? Not a yeah. public school? No, it wasn't a public school. It was, it was, it was I forgot what kind of school it was. Yeah. But um, I know that she had to, here's another one. I know she had to clean the floors and, and the bathrooms and stuff. So. And that's why she went at the house always scrubbed and clean. Scrub, scrub hard, Tina. I mean, her story is really amazing. Like, I didn't know about her until I met you. <laughs> yeah. And then when you, you know, when we started watching Mommy Dearest, I was like, what's wrong with this lady? You know, well. this, this is a crazy movie. But then I found out that it was actually a true story. Well, oh, wow. well it was based on Christine Crawford's book, but they did embellish and they did um, over exaggerate certain things so and even Christina Crawford said they did that here's another one in case you need it all right I think this is done here I just love how this looks don't you love how this looks yeah I like the uh, the pine what do you call these the pine, pine cones cones mm -hmm. and the leaves yeah I think it's pretty cool it looks pretty I like it I don't know why this like gets me gets me in the it's mean the like a crave of wine. wine. Why don't, don't you tie that? Why don't you tie that stem down down there? Oh, this right here. Yeah. And wrap it around. Mm -hmm. I'm even debating if we really need so many picks. I don't think we'll probably need. I'll probably put these in the tree. Mistletoe. <laughs> Mistletoe. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. But we do need to add some. We're gonna add some um, balls to it. Some <laughs> Christmas balls. Oh. And and. Um, but look at that, look how pretty that's gonna be. Oh yeah. See? But uh, the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna attach it with floral wire. You can hot, use a hot glue gun, but I don't wanna use hot glue on this because I might decide next year to change up the garland and, you know. So I'm basically gonna just use some floral wire and we're gonna attach it, but we're gonna actually attach it once it's up on the mantle. All right, we're not gonna do it now. I'm just gonna add the uh, wire to it. It's pretty, and these are yeah. these are shatterproof. These I actually got at Hobby Lobby. You know that's a good idea because once you break one of these and they go all over the place, it's a mess. It is, and um, so I love that these are shatterproof. Plus, if you have kids, yeah. yeah. So I love that these are shatterproof. Won't break, but they're really pretty. Mm -hmm. all right. So I'm gonna keep adding the wire to these, and I think I'll, I like things to be in odd numbers, so this is even even number, so I'm gonna get one extra ornament, something for probably for the middle. Maybe some over there, I got some different ornaments over there. Oh, you're gonna do bows too. Yeah, so oh, we're, I gonna can add, see that. we're gonna add bows. And the bows, I'm actually going to, we're gonna do that in our next segment, so stay tuned. Don't go anywhere, it's fun here. <laughs> okay, so we're back, and now we're gonna decide on some ribbons, so we did not attach any of the balls or the um, picks to the garland yet. We're going to be doing that once it's up on the mantle. But we just kind of placed it pretty much uh, where we think it's going to be going. And one thing that we have to 
keep in mind, Yvonne, is that we need to have balance. So I like things in odd numbers. I think odd numbers are super important. So as you can see, I have three balls here, and I also have uh, large and small balls too. So here's the, here's the two, and <laughs> sorry, and um, I started out with <laughs> I started out with uh, gold with the big balls. With the gold ball, and then I went with the red ball, and, and that's the, what they're called. And then the small ball. <laughs> and then the small ball, yes. But this is gold, so notice how it balances. I got so the gold, gold red, red, and gold, yes. And the poinsettia. And the like, poinsettia. So I, I didn't show these earlier, but these are some pretty poinsettia. These are uh, velvet poinsettia uh, picks. Those are pretty. Very pretty. So I have again. Now I do have four. I don't have an odd number, but. The one that we showed you earlier has a little poinsettia on it, and that's going to go right in the middle. And so now we need to decide on our um, on our, our ribbon. So I have an assortment of ribbon here. Yvonne, which one do you think that we should be using in our garland here? I think this one because it has the, the gold and the red. Uh -huh. And then this one that has the green and the red okay. and the black, we should use those. Okay. I know that um, there's a little bit of white in here, but this white and red is this white is a little too bright. Mm -hmm. And then I think these colors are a little too light too. Yeah, they are. I like that these are just this one's a little bit darker, so I think that will look good. Right. And uh, one thing I want to correct what I said earlier: this is an easy bow maker. This is the bow dabra. They both make bows, so um, we're going to be using both, and we're going to show you how to make some bows. So stay so tuned. All right, so we're back. Ready to make some bows? Let's do it. Okay, can uh, you get me some scissors? They're in that drawer right there. <laughs> so we're gonna be using this, um, this ribbon here. It's sort of like a plaid. And then this one has all these spirals and swirly gold uh, glittery uh, lines in it. So I, think I have a question. Be... Oh no, this is a uh, craft. This is... yeah, that's the one. <laughs> I didn't um, want to go make another trip. So oh, it's okay. Go. It's okay. All right. What's your so, question? So if these two make bows, uh -huh. what's the difference between them? Uh, it, well, there's really no difference. This is the bow dabra, and this one, um, you use this. You just place the. I'll show you how to use it. They they both make bows. Um, this one I think is a little bit easier, to be quite honest. I, that's why it's called the easy bow maker. Uh, this is the Bodabra. I both make bows, and I'll show you how to use both. And where did you get these? Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> yes. All right, so the first thing we're going to do when we make our bow is we're going to, um, you're going to measure. You want the tail to be kind of long. So the bows we're going to make right now are going to be, we're going to make two, one for each end. So we're going to make two that are going to be the same size. We're going to start. So I'm going to make the tail to be probably around close to 16 inches long. So this is measures eight, and then this measures eight, so that's about 16. So this is the tail. So what I'm gonna do is I get the ribbon, and you really place this in the spool over here, and you put the bow in here, all right? So this is the tail, right? So then on this side, we're gonna start making the bow. Now this bow, we're gonna to have to twist it because it has a black background, or backing, I should say. So how big do you want your bow to be? Well, probably this one, since it's gonna be the one in the back, it's gonna be a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna do five inches, all right? Wait, okay. See how it measures five inches? Yep. And when we make the next one, it'll probably be four and then maybe three. So I'll make three bows, all right? So we're gonna do that. And let's see, we're gonna turn it like this. I need to turn it upside down because it's gonna flip over like that. So there's my five inches. And I'm going to place this in here. Yeah. And then measure five inches here. Don't forget that's the tail. And then here's five inches. And then I'm going to do make my bow again, just like that. And you want to twist it. Okay. And then that's going to go over here. All right. So now what we're going to do? So we need to twist it. And now, since that measured about five inches, now I'm gonna go about four inches and make it just a little bit smaller. Place it 
in here, twist it. Bring it over here. Notice that it was twisted and then I'm gonna make four inches on this side. And then I need to twist that. It's gonna be like this. And then this one's gonna be about three inches. So basically you're creating like layers. Layers, yeah. And I can see that there's like, the first one is five inches, the second layer is- Four inches. Four inches, and the third one- Three inches. Three inches, I see uh -huh. what you're doing. See what I'm doing? Yeah. And then I need to cut this tail. Right. Same length as this. Which it was eight inches. No, 16. 16 inches. Yeah, eight inches on both sides. Okay. And I'm gonna do a decorative cut on the tail, probably uh, ducktails or, yeah, probably ducktails at the end. So now what we do is we pick this up, don't let it go. And then I like to quickly, this is what I do, I wrap this around, just like that. So this does make this tail a little bit shorter than the 16, but that's okay. We'll just make it even at the end. But what I'd like to do is then I attach it with, get some floral wire, wire, or from the back. And I tie it. And pull, once you have your bows ready you made, you can save them, right? Yeah, definitely. So I'm just twisting that a few times. Um, where's my here? My wire cutter. See how important it is to have the right tools? And then just tuck that in. And then you start fluffing. <laughs> you start fluffing the bow. Come on, boo, fluff it. I'm fluffing, boo. All right. Yeah. Isn't it pretty? Okay. Yeah, that's pretty. And then I'm going to cut the tail, do ducktails. The way you make ducktails, you put the two sides together mm -hmm. and then you cut it at an angle. Don't cut yourself. Just like that, that's ducktails. Okay. And you want to do it, of course, the same size on this side. Like that. And that's how you And that's do. how you make a bow. Hi bro, this is the bow dabber here. It's pretty much the same process. You're gonna measure the tail. I'm gonna do um, this one I'm gonna make a little bit smaller than that one. These this is these two, I'm gonna make two of these and they're gonna go at the end. This one I'm just gonna have two small ones in the middle. So I'm actually gonna do a tail of eight inches long on this one. And you just place it in between these two plastic thingies, whatever they're called, and um, then I make my bow on this side and I twist it since this has, this is not, um, has, this, it's not a double sided ribbon. So it has red on this side. So I want to twist it and bring it over. And I'm going to measure this to be, I probably want these bows since they're smaller to probably start out being around uh, three inches. This is about three inches. I'd say that's three inches. All right, and then I'm gonna twist that on this side. I'm gonna do that. All right, and then the next one I'm just gonna make a little bit smaller. I'm gonna twist it. I'm only gonna do two on this one. I'm not doing three like the other one. All right, and then twist that. I don't know that song. <laughs> All right. And see, then the tail, the tail was eight inches. I'm gonna do the same length on this side. 
approximately. We need better scissors. These don't cut well. All right. And then you lift that out, just like that, and you wrap that around, just like I showed you before. Let me, you know what I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna actually have the floral wire. Can I have the floral wire right by your hand? This one has a lot of glitter. I know. So I'm gonna first do the floral wire on this one, like that. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna actually cut. Wrap it, fold it a little bit, tie it in the back, time of year. Mm -hmm. See? And then you fluff it. Ducktails. Oh, that's nice. Mm hmm. Am I pretty? Yep. Just like that. So, we're going to make two of these. And then another thing we're gonna be doing in, um, there we go, in our, um, in our ribbon is we're just gonna have little swirls. I'm gonna get it and just kind of bend it a little bit in, in the ribbon, in the ribbon, not the ribbon, the, in the um, garland, yes, like that, and attach it. In. Okay, so we're back. We're gonna get ready to place our garland up on our mantle. Now I got these um, hooks they're actually ceiling hooks, but they're supposed to hold around 20 pounds each. Mm -hmm. So a sticky back, I'm placing it on my mantle right here. And that should hopefully hold it. Who <laughs> is very focused right now. Makes me nervous. That's why I usually have my drink ready. You okay, Bo? Uh-huh. You getting the bows in there? You're getting the bows. What are you working on, Boo? I am placing this uh, snow fluff over the fireplace mantle. Okay. And then we're gonna be placing our Mark Roberts uh, fairies. Oh yeah, the elves. The, the elves, the yeah. fairies. Yeah. Over, the, over this. Yeah. Awesome, it's gonna look great. It's gonna look whimsical. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. So now we're going to be placing our elves, Mark Roberts elves on the mantle. And we have chosen uh, a couple of elves that we have that basically go with our garland. Uh, but a couple of things, these are collectible items, so they're limited edition. Even though we have the names, you might not be able to find them uh, because they're limited edition. But here to this side, we have Halle Berry, we have Christmas tree, we have storytelling, which is really cute. And then we have the sugar and spice, and we have gift wrapping here. Now these are posable, so you get to uh, bring them to life. The, the clothing and the body is really wired, so you get to uh, adjust them. And then they also, you can also get a stand that has a tube in the back. So like you would just insert it, and then you find the place where you're gonna place them. Uh, once you pose them, and then you're good to go. These are super cute, so I just love them. Well, we got our garland up and our fireplace mantle decorated. What do you think, Boo? It looks awesome. I love it. Great job, Boo. Thank you. Well, we did it together. And so, thank you so much for joining us today on Happy Cooking with Yvonne Douglas. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe and like this video. And until next time, happy cooking. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.